Things have been pretty simple for most farmers when it comes to weeds. You got weeds, you spray. What do you do if you're an organic farmer and you can't spray herbicides? Or what do you do if you're a conventional farmer and the herbicides that used to kill the weeds don't anymore because now the weeds have evolved herbicide resistance? While this has become a real problem in pulse crops like lentils and peas in Western Canada, where you've been relying heavily on group two herbicides to control broadleaf weeds. Because of this, we now have weeds like wild mustard, kochia, cleavers, Russian thistle, hemp nettle, redroot pigweed, chickweed, shepherd's purse. Well, you get the idea. You just can't rely on herbicides the way you used to. I'm Steve Shirliff, and I'm from the University of Saskatchewan. And I'm gonna to talk to you today about a machine that can kill weeds, and I bet you've never seen it or even heard of it. Rotary hoes were once common implements used by corn and soybean growers in the Midwest US for weed control before they had herbicides. Even though they're an old technology, rotary hoes can still effectively control many small broadleaf weeds by flicking them out of the ground with their spinning tines. They work best after the weeds have just emerged and are still in the white thread stage. Between this stage and the cotyledon stage, the roots aren't anchoring the plant enough to resist the whirling tines. My colleague from Ag Canada, Eric Johnson, has found that all the pulse crops, including peas, lentil, and chickpea, can tolerate even multiple passes with a rotary hoe at almost any crop stage. And we know from others that it works great in cereals. Well, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, I'm a no-till farmer, and I have lots of stubble on my fields, and this crazy machine of yours is just gonna plug solid with all the crop residue and stubble on it. This here is a min-till rotary hoe, and the difference is, is that these have two separate tines so that they don't plug up with crop residue. So they can go through a no-till field and just flip right through the crop residue and not plug at all, doing a great job killing weeds even under no-till conditions. And Eric has also figured out that even with multiple passes with the rotary hoe, that the residue still remains on the soil surface, protecting it from erosion. So what this narrow time window means is that you have to cover a lot of acres with a rotary hoe in a real hurry. Luckily, rotary hoes can go really fast. 